Live from Times Square Studios, Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. Ian is a vegetarian. He doesn't eat meat. He don't eat no meat? No, he doesn't eat meat. What do you mean he don't eat no meat? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I make lamb. Come. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I love that scene from my big fat Greek wedding. Oh, it is just fantastic, and they are having some fun. Whoopa! That was pretty good, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. And this is a great, you know, this is like um, anchor, anchor special day. You know, mm -hmm. Sam gets to be a mad scientist. Right. We're also going to celebrate Greek Easter. You know, this is one of those rare years where Orthodox Easter falls on the same day as uh, mm. for the rest of the Christian world. So we're going to celebrate this morning with Michael Psilakis. He's a great restaurateur, Greek restaurateur, and he's going to have a traditional Greek dishes, including, of course, Next, one Greek Easter feast coming up. George Stephanopoulos is so happy about this, as are we. Come on back. This is a treat for me. Time for a Greek Easter feast. So I've rolled up my sleeves, ready to roll in, ready to, uh, ready to cook with Michael Psilakis, uh, who's the restaurateur and author of a book called How to Roast a Lamb. This is one of those rare years where Easter falls at the same time for every Christian, for Orthodox Christians, for everyone else. And so we're going to celebrate it uh, a little early uh, this morning and start out, you are starting with, of course, the lamb. Well, we're, do, feast we're doing lamb, it the right? Greek way. <laughs> exactly. We're doing it the Greek way. So we're, we're going to roast a, a leg of lamb, which is a, a really, really simple piece of meat to roast. Um, what we did was we, we took it off the bone and we butterflied it out just to give us a nice flat surface area. We're going to season it well with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're going to stuff it with a puree that we make with sun dried tomatoes. This is so your special twist. It, it really, you know, it brings the, the flavors of the Mediterranean together. So uh, it takes something that's super traditional like lamb for Easter, especially in the Greek culture. And then we just sort of add a, pumping now, it up a little bit. The real tradition would be to take the whole lamb, roast it on the spit. Well, that's what we're doing at the house. I figured not too many people have spits at their house. Exactly. So we went, we went with the leg in the oven instead. So just to make a really quick paste that we can really just spread throughout the lamb, we're going to use some sun-dried tomatoes, some black olives, and we're going to put everything into this food processor and just pulse it. Some thyme, some oregano, some rosemary, a little bit of mustard, garlic confit, which uh, we have in our book. It's a really fantastic thing to have in your refrigerator. It's just garlic that's been cooked in olive oil very, very slowly, and it becomes really, really soft. Never boil it. You just, just, just a really slow, gentle cook right in the oven, and it becomes really soft. It caramelizes. It becomes very, very mm. sweet, and we puree it and use it instead of butter. It's really wonderful. Um, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and it boom. It becomes this. That's what it becomes. So, so if what you do you take do that out, you're going to help me. Okay. Just put it right on there. Spread it all over there. Be generous. Don't be, okay. don't be shy. All, all over it. That's fantastic. Fantastic. And this is really going to give you a tremendous amount of flavors. I mean, think about all of the Mediterranean mm. flavors that are going on here right now. Let me get my left hand here. You're really good. You want a job? Hey, you never know. I might Look need at one this. someday. I think that's perfect. Okay. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to, now that it's been butterflied, we're going to roll it up. We roll it all mm. up. Ooh. And this is what we get. Something really nice like that. And then we tie it with some string. And after we tie it, ultimately you're going to bring it underneath and then just bring it around and then finish it up and tie it. It's going to look like Got it. this. Okay? So now you're going to do this for me. Just okay. be careful. It's a little hot enough? here. And fat side down or up? Either way, it's fine. Okay. Whoa, there you go. Is. All right. So we're going to get a good sear on this meat. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's pretty important that's so that we can protect, we call it set the integrity of the protein. So we're going to protect the outside and keep all those really wonderful juices inside. Okay, well, we're going to let this sear. What are you going to have with it? So ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to reserve a little bit of that puree that we made. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take the puree, put it into a good roasting pan, just some regular water, a little bit of Dijon mustard, now this is the puree of that garlic confit that I was talking about, and you can see how it kind of resembles mm -hmm. butter. So I think you're eliminating all of that fat, that senseless fat, and you're adding all of that wonderful garlic flavor. We're going to just mix it up a little bit. 
So we've, we've kind of, in a really fast, easy, simple way, we've made this really wonderful sort of gravy mm -hmm. with all of that sun-dried tomato and garlic flavor. We're going to add some rosemary, and then you're going to take that out. Okay. Still needs the other side. You know, we only have a minute, so let's show what we're going to serve okay. with. Okay. After it's cooked and we take it out of the oven, it's about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, you're gonna get this beautiful mm -hmm. lamb. Um, we, we have one here, all set and ready to go. Beautiful, they're already eating it. Look at that, there. look at that. Gorgeous. That's perfect, and it's okay to eat lamb medium rare. If you wanna cook it a little bit more, we brought this to about 130 degrees in temperature. Um, along with that, to finish the table, we have some artichoke fricassee, lemon, dill, uh, avgo lemon soup. It wouldn't be Easter without avgo lemon soup. And then obviously the highlight of every Greek table is, there you go, curambiedes. Curambiedes, melo macarona, chureki, which is a kulura, our bread for Easter. It's a sweet bread. And of the red eggs as well. And the red eggs. Very, very recipes traditional. Recipes are all online at abcnews.com slash recipes. We're going to start eating away, celebrating our Easter early, and we'll be right back. We are going to say goodbye to Sam out in Chicago. So long, Sam, as we celebrate Easter a little bit early here. We hope you have a good Easter as well. Have a good one. Bye.